Friends, today we've got a Tinkercad project with a node fails to load error. I've got a strategy that may help you recover it, so let's get cracking. So friends, your mileage may vary, but this is a project I had. It has got a cool chain link that we're trying to put together. I had eight of them disappear. Let me show you how I brought them back. So first, see how this shape is grouped. I'm just going to ungroup it. I'm also going to move it a little bit away. I'm going to move it away. I'm going to move it away. And you can see that we start to find that some parts still stay the way they should. For this project, that absolutely solves the problem. I'm going to ungroup this, though, so you can see what was happening. See how here we finally got to a box? I'm going to click Delete on the box. If you look underneath, we've got the awesome gradient. It's fine. And let me zoom in and show you the problem that we're having with this part. I believe it is the complexity. You see there we ungrouped it and nothing happened. So something was grouped there for no real reason or a part wasn't showing up. If we ungroup it again, it's another shape. So it is not a normal box. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm going to delete it. And then when we get down to the shape and ungroup it, this was built with some pretty tricky parts. You can see here we've got cylinders, super simple. But then we've got this shape right here, which if we ungroup it, and we ungroup it again, you can see it was just a tube that was cut, and then parts were added on, which really didn't even help, because you really wanted a flat edge probably anyhow. And this just got too complex. As we zoom out, you can see this one from Mythics still hasn't loaded. Once again, though, I wanted that part, so I'm going to just show you that I ungrouped it. And after one ungrouping, I could start to get to the parts that I needed. And then it would have been sweet if the gradient stayed like it did for the one for Miss Candy. But this gradient, I had to recreate. Friends, this is the link I had created. It is using a bent pipe. You see, if we break it apart, it has got two pieces. Well, during this process, I learned something cool from Nantama. Check it out. There is something called a smart torus. So if you search for smart, press enter. It is this second one right here. When you bring it out, if you input these numbers, I used 50. I used 30. And then if we set the height to 6, we get this same link in one sweet piece. It is super slick like that. Well, then the next thing was we need to make it an inverse hole. Step one, of course, is to switch it to a hole. Step two is to grab a cube. We make that cube larger. I'm going to just choose the numbers 80 and 70. That way it's a little bit rectangular. And then I'm also going to raise it up to 40. And then I'm going to select those two parts. Notice it says two shapes. Choose a line, and I want that to be centered and centered and centered and finely grouped. Now, this is an inverse hole. You could maybe see those red lines around there. If we switch it to a hole, you can see inside it's going to cut out the awesome chain link. Then we bring in a gradient, select those two, choose L for a line, and we want to make sure it's centered, centered, and centered. And when we select those two, we can do Control G. And in a moment, you have colored your design with fantastic colors. Now, this is just a fun technique. Your 3D printer would never notice these. But as you can see, it does make for some awesome projects. Now I need to connect this back to the Miss Candy text. I'm going to shift select those two, choose L for a line, bring it to the front, bring it to the front edge, and of course, set it to middle. Then with a couple nudges, bingo, the Miss Candy link has been recovered. Now I could run through those same steps with the other chain links in the project. As you can see, some of these are still locked up, and I would have to ungroup to get all the pieces. And if you were looking down here, you would note that it still had the node fails. So when a design is broke up like this, the secret I am finding is to ungroup until you find the parts you can play with. Friends, I do want to remind you quickly about the create a shape steps. So I'm going to grab the two pieces of this shape. I'm going to switch to your creations. And as you can see, this is how I save all the links. When I hit create a shape, 
You need to wait a moment for it to appear. It depends on how complex it is. While I wait, I'm going to put Miss Candy 3 on this because I've done this one a couple times. Of course, I do want to tag this with link. I never lock the part size. And then after a few moments, it appears and I can finally save the shape. Friends, a quick review. Don't forget when you load one of these, if you ever have one of those errors, I just kept clicking and ungrouping till I finally had the air go away, and then I was able to salvage the parts and make my project again. I'm going to quickly bounce back to the Tinkercad desktop and show you one other important step. If you're ever working on a project like this, I would start with Duplicate. Now, I was able to copy and tinker from a user, so I skipped that step initially, but if it's one of your projects that's broke, duplicate it so you can always go back to the first step. Before we wrap up, I'm going to launch the master project. I have started a brand new one so that there's no longer an error while loading. And check it out. After a moment, we have got all 89 links. While I was attempting to fix these ones that disappeared last week, I did also find some new ones. Here's how we add them. Once again, I go to Your Creations, and we can find the new designs and bring them in. It's that easy. Let's zoom in and check this one out. It was created by Alexander. I'll spin it around so it starts the next row. That would be number 90. We also had one appear from Jaden. We'll bring that into place. There is one from Giga Rider. We also have a fantastic link from Furious Squirrel. Drop that one into place. And then lastly, we spotted one called Daniel YT. That brings us to 94 fun-filled links. Once again, friends, I want to say thanks to everybody that's participated so far. Looking forward to our journey as we try to get to 100 links in one Tinkercad project. Don't forget, if you're looking to join in, you can find directions in the properties of this video. And you can also check up in the video cards. Of course, friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. Below that, you'll find my day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. This video will tell you all about it. I do also want to note that there is a coupon code 25HLTinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any of the awesome courses you find on the site. Don't forget you can use this link right here to find it in minutes. Finally, friends, I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Don't forget you can also find the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Turn it up now.